Na medu e kwa emra sebe jefi don kume wofi honom e dia to jase se abanyi an nya she ye en ye so down pa en womu ebe mano. Nini na ene se womu e sh ni mse e twa hudu be a wo jum na emu mafo hu chom no be yini nyina de fi hono men wachin sono. Wasi a bain fan si se ye be mu mafo hua hai womu emra e sansa ho cheno anwaye den yes omu nya bain no e be dia tin tampa. Si se yo my gana, eshe IMF jume di ase, nenso, omay isi kasem enshe da enchu to yi. Ye inti ene dum kuma anu ba anu deni, ya wamra shebe jefie Dr. Kesela to forsen. Edi ato abay eni mse, se gana abay ede afim pinu ni edi nina ya kuma isi kawa yitu mra shebe jefie. Nwa yiri ni mumu kete, edi ni mbiya shishem wabu mwa mamfo mwa chere wamu dia, eni yodum kuma anu, ebe kenya wangu achara abay pa, inchiri muse yi enwa di tuja. Right on your speaker. Let me use this opportunity to assure the people of Ghana that we, in the minority caucus, will scrutinize the upcoming budget statement and economic policy of government with eager eyes. Mr. Speaker, the prevailing economic conditions has already made it very difficult for the ordinary Ghanaian and businesses, and therefore we can't be a party to any policy or measure which makes things even more unbearable and, in fact, miserable for the already suffering Ghanaians and businesses. Mr. Speaker, let me be blunt here. The upcoming budget statement will encounter resistance if and if it does not prioritize the need of the people and business, the businesses. Let them get ready for a showdown. Nensu wani nyine mwono, edo mkasiye ni bano deni wa saichi ima insa bonsu, echire mwa. Nyadi edo mkuma eni beti miyayi bibi ya afa, akwa umesika wa di babe tuja no ehun. As for the budget statement, I believe we will all witness what we need to witness. And I believe since this government assumed the race of governance, nothing but the truth has ever been told to this country. And indeed, the truth will be told to this country. <laughs> 